Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use a combo box on Wallpaper Engine to effectively switch between songs on, a, on any given scene. First things first, we're going to open up Wallpaper Editor. Next, we're going to drop in our file. Hit OK. Now we're going to drop in both of our soundtrack files. That's one. And that's two. I would recommend going ahead and clicking mute in editor for both of these settings. Otherwise it will be very loud trying to work with these songs already playing within your wallpaper editor. Next we're going to hit this cog wheel by the volume setting. Hit bind script. Then it'll open up the script for that setting. We're going to delete this and paste in this command. This command will be down in the description so you can just copy and paste it from there. Uh, this is actually a script that I found online, but I've slightly modified it to make it a little bit better. But I'll still go ahead and provide a screenshot here of the person that I found this from. Next, we're going to hit OK. We're going to go to our second song. Do the same thing. Cogwheel. Find script. Delete. And paste. However, before we close out of this one, we're going to want to change this one right here to a two. If you wanted to add more than two songs, you would complete this same process again, but you would continue from a 2 to a 3, 3 to a 4, and so on. Hit OK. Hit Edit. Change Project Settings. Add Property. Change this to a combo box. Now this is important. The title specifically needs to be labeled Songs due to it being already pre-programmed that way within our script. Next, we're going to give it our labels. The label can be whatever you want it to be. That's just going to show the title of the song. So in this case, that will be Ruby OP2. And the value of this one is that first song we put in, so it'll be a value of 1. Hit plus. Our second song was called Ruby OP6 and that one is the one we gave a value of 2 for. Hit plus again, hit OK and if you want you can go ahead and capture preview of whatever your image is. And now you have your preview ready for your wallpaper. Now we can just hit OK, hit file, Save. Now we'll go ahead and close out of our wallpaper editor and go back to our wallpaper engine. We'll go ahead and start this at opening 2. Turn this on. And you can hear that it's currently playing our Ruby OP2. If we hit this drop down and hit OP6, it'll change the song that's playing. Now you can add as many songs here as you'd like. Once again, the only thing you need to keep in mind is the value within your script. You just need to make sure that you continue making this number bigger and bigger the more you add to your combo box. Alright, hope you enjoyed. If this helped anybody out there, please feel free to hit that like button down below. And if you're still having any problems, feel free to comment down below and let me know what your problem is. And I will try my best to help you out and get it to where it works for you as well. Have a good one.